Read along with Lindsay. A House is a House for Me by Mary Ann Hoberman. A hill is a house for an ant, an ant. A hive is a house for a bee. A hole is a house for a mole or a mouse. And a house is a house for me. A web is a house for a spider. A bird builds its nest in a tree. There is nothing so snug as a bug in a rug, and a house is a house for me. A coop, that's a house for a chicken. A sty, that's a house for a sow. A fold, that's where sheep all gather to sleep. A barn, that's a house for a cow. It is also, of course, a house for a horse. A kennel's a house for a dog, a dog. A dog is a house for a flea. But when a dog strays, a flea sometimes stays, and then it may move in on me. Houses for rabbits are hutches. A house for a mule is a shed. A castle's a house for a duchess. A bedbug beds down in a bed. Mosquitoes like mud holes or puddles. Whales need an ocean or sea. A fish or a snake may make do with a lake, but a house is a house for me. A shell is a dwelling for shellfish, for oysters and lobsters and clams. Each snail has a shell and each turtle as well, but not any lions or lambs. Lions live out in the open. Monkeys live up in a tree. Hippos live down in a river. Now what do you know about me? An igloo's a house for an Eskimo, a teepee's a house for a Cree, a Pueblo's a house for a Hopi, and a wigwam may hold a Mohi. A garage is a house for a car or a truck, a hangar's a house for a plane, a dock or a slip is a house for a ship, and a terminal's house for a train. A husk is a house for a corn ear, a pod is a place for a pea, a nutshell's a hut for a hickory nut, but what is a shelter for me? A glove is a house for a hand, a hand. A stocking's a house for a knee. A shoe or boot is a house for a foot, and a house is a house for me. A box is a house for a tea bag. A teapot's a house for some tea. If you pour me a cup and I drink it all up, then the tea house will turn into me. Cartons are houses for crackers. Castles are houses for kings. The more that I think about houses, the more things are houses for things. And if you get started in thinking, I think you will find it's true, that the more that you think about houses for things, the more things are houses to you. Barrels are houses for pickles, and bottles are houses for jam. A pot is a spot for potatoes, a sandwich is home for some ham. The cookie jar's home to the cookies, the bread box is house to the bread. My coat is a house for my body, my hat is a house for my head. Perhaps I have started far-fetching. Perhaps I am stretching things some. A mirror's a house for reflections. A throat is a house for a hum. But once you get started in thinking, you think and you think and you think. How pockets are houses for pennies, and pens can be houses for ink. How peaches are houses for peach pits, and sometimes are houses for worms. How trash cans are houses for garbage, and garbage makes houses for germs. And envelopes, earmuffs, and eggshells, and bathrobes, and baskets, and bins, and rag bags, and rubbers, and roasters, and tablecloth toasters, and tins. And once you get started in thinking this way, it seems that whatever you see is either a house or it lives in a house, and a house is a house for me. A book is a house for a story, a rose is a house for a smell. My head is a house for a secret, a secret I never will tell. A flower's at home in a garden, a donkey's at home in a stall. Each creature that's known has a house of its own. And the earth is a house for us all. Thanks for reading with me. Please like and subscribe for more fun stories.